Shalom to the nation of Israel. This is Bar Rizal coming in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Racha Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the hopeful elect pushing his word and truth and sincerely across the four corners of the earth. This lesson is titled Israel does not know who they are. Right? So we're going to start Isaiah 1. Sorry, well, Isaiah 1, chapter 1, verse 2. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord Yahweh has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Yeah, so, you know, if you know the story about Israel, they were in Egypt. You know, they went through their, their, their time in Egypt. And, <laughs> you know, uh, the most I got them, like, brought them out of there. And you know what happened in the forest, in the wilderness. They start going off, saying they want to go back to, to Egypt, right? You know, and that's just one example. Now, if you look present day, you see where Israel, the state Israel is in right now, right? We're on the bottom. Why we're on the bottom? Because we rebelled. We, we, we rebelled against Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai, right? Even though he did all these works, all these things for us, took care of us, you know, did everything for us, we still rebelled. Right, so you have to you have to catch judgment, which is why we're on the bottom, you know, and that's why you know we're hunted, we're we're the we're the joke, we're, we're every we're the part of it. I think the word is we're the butt of every joke, right? We're treated as nothing, right? Which now that is changing now, as you can if you can see it, it's slowly changing. But I mean, it's the point where we're really on the bottom, where you know we're in slavery in the Americas, right, and also in Africa's. Um, you know, and in and in, in um, the Middle East, because the Arabs were part of slavery too. All the nations had a part in it, but the, there was a great parts of the slavery. You know, the Arabs were part of it. You know, the, the the Africans were part of it. The the Edomites were part of it. The Edomites gave us. We had the worst slavery in the Edomites, right? Um, but yeah, all these things happened to us because we rebelled. So you know, is you know, and you see Israel right now. They're always asking. You know, why is this happening to me? Why is that? Because you, you went off. You went off and you rebelled against the Yahweh Shem Yoshai. So you have to catch the judgment. But there is repentance. There is, you can get repent. You can repent from those sins, you know, and come back to the Lord, right? The ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doth not know. My people do not consider. So they, they you know, animals know their owner. Like if you have that pet animal, or like an uh, an ox or a cow, they know their owner. They know that the you know the master's crib. They know where to go home. They know where to go home to after you know they've went out in the wilderness. Even to say that's happening, they went out in the wilderness. They know to come back, but Israel doesn't know to come back. They don't even consider where their home is. They just think they don't even. I don't. They just think that the. If you look at Israel right now, they're in that state where it's um. What's that word? Stockholm syndrome. Right, they loved loved Mr. Esau, the red man, the white man. They love him more than their own people. They will save a white man before they save their own people, which is crazy. That's Stockholm syndrome. Right, they want to be, They like being slaves. They like staying in in captivity. They don't want to, you know, get right. Right. So, verse four: A sinful nation, the people laden with iniquity. See. A seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, that have forsaken the Lord Yahweh, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They have gone ba away backward. So they went away from Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. So everything they're doing, they're going away from him. They're not going towards him. And that's why all these things are happening. You know? And it's going to get worse. Because Jacob's trouble. Right? It's gonna get worse. Everyone thinks we're done. It's gonna get. It's getting. We're about to get worse. That was just the first quarter. <laughs> that was just the first quarter. There's three more quarters left. Hosea four and six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children. Right, as they were increased. So they sinned against me. Therefore, will I change their glory unto shame. And that's happening right now. I was just talking about that. Right? Because all you have to do is come back to Yahweh Shemuel Shai, repent for your sins, 
and get right <clears throat> and learn how to serve Yahweh. Because that's what you were created to do. You're his people. You know, but until you do until you do that, you're gonna be catching hell. You're gonna be catching hell left, right, and center. Nothing's gonna go your way. And for things to go your way, you have to dab into the, the left hand side, right? But even when, it, when you start to get things like on the left-hand side, you have to do a lot of more wickedness to, to get those things. So therefore, you're going even further and further away from Yahweh, right? So Jeremiah 4 and 22, because you got these Israelites in the world that, you know, people are like, oh, look, they're doing good. Look, in the music industry, sports. Yeah, but you don't know what they're doing behind closed doors. These guys, the type of sins that they're doing, right? You can't even come back from that. They went too far. They went way too far, Right? Now, at the end of the day, you can't, at the end of the day, it's through the power of Yahweh Shemil Shai where he can uh, give mercy unto anyone, you know. But for them to come back, they would have to uh, basically um, give away all their riches, all their, all their riches, their wealth, they have to give it away. And you know they're not going to do that. They're too comfortable. They're too comfortable in that lavish life. So they're not going to give away the riches because that's their God. That's their security is money, is riches. Their security is not in Yahweh. Because tell, imagine telling Mayweather, oh yeah, you have to give all your money. If you want to be, really be saved, you know, you know, be one of the hopeful elect, you have to give all your money, all your riches, all your wealth, right? Give it, a, give it away and come and serve the Lord. So you have to be, you have to leave that, that state of being on high, you know, being on top in the world and then come to the Lord and be low in the world, on the bottom. You think he's going to do that? <laughs> he's not going to do that, right? I'm not saying it's not possible for anyone to do it, but it's very highly unlikely, Right? Unless that's one of the elect. You know? Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish. Which sottish means stupid. They are sottish children. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil. Like I was just saying. When it's to do evil, they're, they're, they're very wise. They know all the ways to do evil. You know, get rich. Do this. All these scams. All that stuff. You know, do sacrifice. All this stuff to, to make it up in the world. But... But to do good, they have no knowledge. <laughs> right? They have no knowledge when it comes to do good. So now we're going to go to Psalm, Psalms uh, 23 and 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, which is, you know, Babylon, right? Because think of it, the shadow of death, that means death follows you wherever you go in uh, Babylon. Wherever you go, death is following you, right? Because it's true. If you've been to America, man, that place is dangerous, right? Canada is like the outskirts of uh, Babylon, right? It is still, you know, the main, the main Babylon is uh, America, right? That's Babylon, the Golden Cup, right? And Canada's joined on to that. Um, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. So you fear no evil. And why will you fear no evil? It's because you have Yahweh Hashem Shai. That's what you fear no evil. But these people, these Israelites in the world, they do fear, uh, they, they fear evil. Right? They're afraid for their lives. That's why they got all the security. On, you know, they have all, um, they have the security, like they have security guards walking around with them all the time. They they uh they, they get all these riches because they think the riches protect them in a sense of uh in a sense of being um, poor, right? You know, being in a state of, of being homeless or things like that. They think their money is also a security, right? So they have all these things are security because they fear evil, right? But those things can't save you because at the end of the day, if most time wants you done, he wants to get you who get you. Doesn't matter how many security guards you have, doesn't matter how much money you have, doesn't matter what type of status you have in the world, he'll get you, right? So they fear evil and they trust in carnal things to, to secure them while they walk through the shadow of death. But the elect don't fear evil, right? Because they understand, because they have that knowledge, which is what, which, which is what doesn't destroy them, because they understand <clears throat> Yahweh controls evil. So if you serve him, you're good. If you don't, you're in trouble. It's very simple, right? Thou fear no evil, for thou art with me, right? And who's with you? Yahweh Shem Shai. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Exactly. And these scriptures comfort us. Right? You know, knowing that Yahweh Shemir Shai is always there because we're serving him, it comforts us. You know, knowing that we understand what's going on comforts us. We're not bugging out like everyone else. That comforts us. You see people bugging out, you're like, wow, 
You know, Rakti Avashim Oshai, that I have this truth. Right? I have to work to keep it. <clears throat> so now we're going to Hosea 4 and 1. Hear the word of the Lord Yahweh, ye children of Israel, for the Lord Yahweh hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of Yahweh in the land. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. So this place is this place is wicked, right? And Mosai has a controversy with this place, with the people inhabiting this place, because they're committing all these uh, iniquities, right? These sins. And the most is against you, you're you're screwed. <laughs> so you don't want to be on his bad side. You want to be serving him, right? But obviously you can see in the state of Israel, they're not serving him, which is why they're in that state. You know? So Deuteronomy 28 and 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart, which is the mind. Right? So that's what you see with these Israelites. That's the type of state they're in. They're, they're bugged out. They're just, they're, just, they're just messed up. They're messed up on so many different levels. Right? Yet they, yet they don't want to consider why they're in that state, why these things are happening to them. You know, why are we on the bottom? They don't, they don't even consider those things. They're just kind of, they're in that Stockholm Syndrome. You know, and if you try to give them the truth, they don't accept it because, you know, you try to tell them that the white man is the devil, that this devil the Bible speaks of, they're like, oh, no, that's not possible. But they're forgetting how they even got to that country. How did you get to that country? It was through slavery. They took you from, <laughs> they took you from Africa, which is not your home either, but you're already being persecuted by the Romans, which are the same people, right, that, that took you again from Africa and brought you to the, the Americas. And, you, and you're protecting that person. You're standing up for them. It's Stockholm Syndrome, right? So they're just so far gone. They're so far gone, right? But the only way to get right is to come back to the Lord. Ezekiel 37, 1, The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones, right? Which is America, right? And caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. Right? So they're dry because they don't have this water. They don't have this truth. So that's why they are dry. Right? Living waters. Because it brings you life. So if you're bones, you're dead. Right? And you're dry bones. So you're dead. And you're dead, you don't even have the truth. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord, Yahweh, thou knowest. Again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you and, I, and, will, bring up, slack, and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin, which is knowledge, just doctrine, Right? This truth. Right? You know, knowing your heritage. Right? And cover you with skin and put breath in you and ye shall live and ye shall know that I am the Lord. You know, also being covered with the blood of Yahweh Shai. Right? Because the water is what washes us and the blood is what covers us. Right? Because if you don't have Yahweh Shai, you're screwed. You still, need, you still need Yahweh Shai at the end of the day. Because you can know the truth, but if you don't accept Yahweh Shai, you're still screwed. Remember, because he's the door, he's the mediator. He's a covering cast. He's what protects us and gives us mercy. You know, when we go off, while you know, because we're still in the flesh. So you, like I said, if you don't have him, you're screwed. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as, as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy to the man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Come from the four winds, O breath, 
and breathe upon these slain, and they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood up their feet, an exceeding great army. So that's why, you know, we have the prophets doing the videos and going to the highways and byways, because they're supposed to prophesy. That's, that's a breath, right? And the breath is only going to go into the elect. The, rec the, the, the rest won't, um, they won't come back to life, Right? Right? Like their bones might come together. They might know that they're Israelite, which is what part of what's talking about. Right? They might come together and know that they're Israelite, but they don't won't they won't have the truth, you know? So like you have there's Israelites that know they're Israelites, but they don't really they don't have the truth. They don't have the knowledge. They don't have the knowledge wasn't understanding. Right? Because once you have that, the, 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 the knowledge was understanding, that's when you're alive. You're a lively stone. Until then, you're just, you're just bones, right? You're just a stone. You're not a lively stone. Right? So there is a difference because you can see it. That's why it says, uh, and when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up, came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. So that's why some of them don't have the breath. Some of them have the skin, they have the, the, the bones are together, they have the flesh, but they don't have the breath, right? They don't have the truth, right? And only the elect are going to have the complete package, you know, the, the, the luxe package. So I prophesied as, he, prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, right? And that's what they lived, because they had the breath, Right, they had the living waters, and only the elect are going to have that because that's what's going to save them. Right, having the full truth is what's going to save them. They're going to know to serve the Lord. They're going to know what's coming. They're going to know what to do in the time of trouble. They're going to know. They're going to know everything. That's why they live. The other ones are not going to live because they don't have the full truth. Right, they might, like I said, they just know they have the skins, the bones, the sinews. They know that it is light, but they're not. They're not serving the Lord. Right. Then he said unto me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dried and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, behold, O my people, I'll open your graves and cause you to come up out of the graves and bring you into the land of Israel. So that's going to happen uh, literally too. A lot of the, the dead that died in the faith are going to come back out of their graves. Right. You know, and even those times, people, gonna, there's a lot of things that are going to happen too back in the, uh, the times they're going into, you know, people are going to be resurrected. You're going to see apparitions and stuff like that. But what's talking about here, like in graves, you think of uh, physically it's going to happen. Right. But also spiritually, the graves is like the, the hell in your mind. Right. That dead state you have that you're in is going to bring you out of that dead state. Right. And ye shall know, I'll read it again. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves. Yeah, so that's what happens when you first come to the truth. You brought up that dead state of mind, right? That hell. Because grave just means hell. Right, so you're you're out of that hell, and you're like, oh my gosh, wow. And you're brought to the truth, and you understand. You're like, wow, holy smokes. Because that's why you never want to go back. You know, if you're truly a man of the Lord, you never want to go back to the grave. You never want to go back there. So you fight to, to keep what you what you're given, which is the truth. Right, and you shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of the graves. And shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live. I and I shall place you in your own land. Then shall ye know that I, the Lord Yahweh, have spoken it and performed it, saith the Lord. Right. So Israel, you know, they, you know, they used to have to come back to the Lord, but we all we all know that only the elect are going to do that. The rest are going to get cut off. They're going to come back in the kingdom. Because the elect are going to have the bones, the sinew, the flesh, um, and they're going to have the breath. The ones that are not part of the elect are not going to have the breath. 
right? Hosea 13 and 9, O Israel, thou hast destroyed thyself, but in me is thine help, right? So in Yahweh, there's help. That's how you get your mercy. That's how you get your salvation, right? If you're going anything outside of him, and Yahweh Shem Yoshai is destruction, is death. So that's it on that. Uh, I hope the point has been made. And I hope this lesson was edifying to the hopeful elect. And shalom to the next side.